bring this back in. Back in. Okay. There. This one. Back in. Now this is positive, positive rat wire. Follow the rat wire to here, negative. And then positive, the black wire to this guy. Um, now this is positive, this is negative. We can use our um, voltmeter to test. And it should, we should, it, sh it should produce 24 volts. Alright, positive, negative, 25.3 volts. See that? You know, so do it again. This is positive, this is negative. You can see 25.3 volts, 25.4 volts. So now we have um, life. This is positive. This is negative, so I'm gonna. So this is the negative, and negative. So on here, we're gonna tie the positive to positive now, like that. It's only temporary. Okay. This is only temporary. I should really get a, instead of duct taping this, I should really get a um, alligator connector for this wire. Anyway, so that should be good for now. Okay, so this is now positive and this is now ne negative and it's connected. So we're going to connect, let's get our remote control ready. And this is the wire terminal, or positive rather, sorry. So positive alligator to uh, positive. And then the negative to the negative of the post.
don't touch the two because it's gonna if you touch the two it's gonna splash okay here we go oh too close okay now here's the remote control and I can turn this motor on and off see that reduce speed off see that so it's a success now it's 24 volts and also I can control this motor you know this is on and the motor is working increase speed ooh 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 oh even higher whoa higher whoa this is true 70 pounds 75 pounds motor wow whoa whoa wow wow decrease 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 beautiful I now have a beautiful working motor with this remote control got to be careful with these two wires because you don't want to get them across because they can make big sparks okay so mission accomplished Okay, got a working trolling motor. Now I can put everything back.